Today, we're going to use the Media Player app in Windows 11 to create playlists. First, you want to open up the Media Player app. Now, it's interesting in Windows, they have a Media Player app, and then those, there's the Windows Media Player Legacy, which is automatically installed in Windows 11. In this video, we're going to use the Media Player app, which is part of Windows 11 also, and it gets confused with Windows Media Player. This is just called the Media Player app. So we're going to open up the Media Player app, and this is going to show you all of your songs that are in your music library that you have ripped. Now, if you pull this up and there's nothing in here, it's totally blank, then that's because it is looking for your music in a folder that it isn't. So if you go down here to settings and you click on settings, you can look at music library locations and you can have it find your music. So if you, mine is in users Andy music, if I wanted to add a folder, I could add a folder here and I could go in and uh, find the folder that it finds music in and just add it to that. Uh, we're going to hit not now because I don't want to do that. But you can choose the folder where it looks for your music. We're going to go back to the home screen here and then click over here on the music library. So the music library will have all of your music in it. It automatically organizes, organizes it by songs and sorts them A to Z and all genres. Now, when I'm making a playlist, I feel like that I want to look at it by the artist so that I can choose by the artists that are in there because it'll take all the albums of that artist and show them in order. So what I like to do is I like to click over here. Um, I'm sorry, I click over here on the A to Z, click on artist, and it will show unknown artist first, which is a bunch of things that I have in there. But then the first artist I have is Aerosmith. And of course, I do have all of these CDs because uh, I don't want to do this illegally. I try to keep all of my CDs uh, in, in a safe place so that I have all the music in case I need it. But this is so that I can listen to it on one device at a time. Now, what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to create a playlist. So you go over here to Playlist and you'll click on the playlist and let's hit a new playlist and we're going to call this rock and we're going to hit create playlist so that creates the rock playlist we're going to go back over to the music library and it is done by artist and we're going to just start picking different songs so we're going to do uh love in an elevator a little ragdoll crying amazing uh, let's see here Asia going on here. Some bad English. Anybody remember bad English? How about bare naked ladies? And of course, there's some Bon Jovi, but I have to go down here and pick some of the um, the one that I just ripped in a previous video here. To show you, oh, we got a little Milli Vanilli here. You know, baby, don't forget my number. Um, blame it on the rain. You got to love that, right? And um, let's see here. Girl, you know it's true, right? Girl, you know it's true. All right. So once we have the ones that we want, you just want to hover over one of the ones that you've checked. And you can left click your mouse and drag and pull them over here to the playlist and put it right here on rock and just drop it there. Once you've done that, if you click on that rock playlist, you'll see all those songs I just added in there on the playlist. And now your playlist is created. The next thing you're going to want to do is be able to sync it to something else, which we'll go over in the next video. Thanks for checking in. Having your music all in one place makes it really easy to create playlists and to enjoy your music on other devices, such as a USB flash drive, or your cell phone, or even your watch. Stay tuned and we'll find out how to do all of that in upcoming videos.